All right, Uncle Sam FM here. It is episode 16, and we have a big rivalry match today with our Michigan State Dynasty. Right now, as you can see on the league table here, we are in first place. We've had a very successful season. Um, have had to grind out a lot of results, but we're getting it done. And 6-0 in the Big Ten. We uh, did win all but one of our non-conference matches, uh, which was a the one we did not win was a draw to Monmouth, which we saw in the last video since then. Uh, yeah, things have gone pretty well. I have made my tactic a little more dynamic. I've sort of I gave up on... I was doing really an experiment on um, automatic fullbacks. Let's say my fullbacks to automatic duty. I've kind of scrapped that. And since then, I, I think it really kind of helped. I, I, I did more to sort of uh, make the um, uh, play between the fullback and the wingers a little more dynamic. And it seems to have really helped. As you can tell, I've it, I, after the Liberty match is when I really scrapped that. Um, really just wasn't seeing enough uh, in the attack. And since then, we've we've scored two goals in every match at least. And really, there's some where we should have scored more. At that 2-1 South Carolina result, or no, it was the Northwestern. <clears throat> the Northwestern result, I actually had two penalties that I missed. Could have made that 4-1. I think it was that one. Make sure. Um, yeah. Pretty sure it was that one. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see the little X's there where they miss penalties. So most of these were even more comfortable than what they appear by the score line. So uh, finally, the Navy match, we were a little more clinical. Um, but that's where we are going into this Michigan match. Now, Michigan is is probably going to be the best team that we play all season. The good news is is that they kind of had a they, well, they had a midweek match and we did not. So we'll be more fresh than they are. Uh, and they obviously have a player who's uh, got a little knock. So, um, but their results, you look at their results, they've, they're on a hot streak right now. Um, they struggled right through here in this, in about mid season, but they've found their stride and they've not given up a goal in the last six matches. So, uh, this is going to be, I always knew this was going to be our, probably our toughest match of the year. And really, it will be probably before the Big Ten title. Um, we'll look at the standings. <clears throat> Michigan plays us. And if they win that, then we'll be level on points. And then they play Wisconsin. So if they beat us and then Wisconsin, Michigan will probably end up winning the um, the Big Ten. So this is really for all the marbles. We play Indiana last which, you know, anybody can beat anybody in, in this in these competitions. But Indiana is down towards the bottom of the league, so we should win. But a win here would secure the title. So let's win it now rather than have to count on the results from another team. <clears throat> so let's get it going. Very exciting. And in real life, Michigan State and Michigan is a big is a big rival. Um, Michigan and Ohio State are actually bigger rivals, but um, obviously Michigan State fans consider Michigan to be their biggest rival. Uh, yeah, confident we can find a way through. Oh yeah, Cantu is off on is suspended on yellow cards. All right, so we will be white, green, white, Michigan, blue, blue, yellow. <clears throat> what Michigan would say, though, is, ma is maize and gold, I think, is the color that they... Or maize and blue, sorry. Maize is the yellow. <laughs> and Michigan with a 4 five, one, just a flat 5. Don't see that tactic a lot. At least I don't. I don't know if you guys run into it. It looks like it plays like a 4-3-3, three, three, though. All right. Nice little build up here. Yeah, good run by Bryant. And, of course, his cross ricochets off. <laughs> I've just not had a very good attacking fullback this season on either side. <clears throat> We do have, we do have a, a, a advantage 
in fitness, that is definite. And Moore brings it down and cross is locked. Well, puts it in the box, but Garza's header is wide. So far, we're controlling play, so that's good. <clears throat> Jesus Ruiz is coming off of an injury. Um, he's my striker, so that may be an issue that I have to keep an eye on. Although, we hit her into the. I think that was Ruiz there. I, feel, I still feel like he's my best option striker right now. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to draw here, but uh, it wouldn't be the worst result. I can take a draw. And looks like they might have a build up here. So they cross to the far post, and they win a corner. Defended that pretty well. <laughs> this might be one of those not so exciting matches. And of course, Ruiz gets a yellow card. I don't know how you guys handle yellow cards. I always ease off tackles. Not, not a lot going on. We are controlling possession. Uh, everything, everything else seems to be shaping up like we would want it to. It's not creating much right now. But maybe that's their 4 5 1. They're packing it in, probably. That's what it kind of looks like. Back up to Johnson. Johnson crosses it into Ruiz, who heads it wide. And that looks like that's how it's going to be going into the half. All right, so four shots, only one on target, 72% possession. Michigan probably, well, they seem happy to concede possession. Um, passing out of the back has not looked very good. Sorry, I, really, I just I need to see... Um, who that's the fault of it's the Michigan stats. Where's State? There we go. <clears throat> I don't see how they're getting 70. Oh, but no, that doesn't make any sense. I must have been looking at the wrong. It says 78% passing out of the back. What am I missing? All of my defenders have plus 80%. <laughs> well, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so let's go to the dressing room. Still win this. Keep working hard. It'll come. And... All right. I'm going to give Ruiz probably 10 to 15 minutes before I pull him off. He's got a card, and he's coming off an injury. We'll put in uh, Dunwell, see if he can't get us a goal. Um, I really did come into this match thinking that if I had a fitness advantage, which I do, that bringing in fresh legs toward the end might be what gets us the goal that wins. Just their back line is all in the 70% range, so... Eh, Caleb Wilson. Oh, we gave up a goal on a set piece. Mm, that hurts. That hurts. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not going to panic yet. Still got most of the half to go. I'm giving up a goal right out of the half. That sucks. Sorry for the long throw, and header goes harmlessly wide. Brown shot off the shot ricocheted. Martinez, the Gallard, some more. Oh, Clark, goal for my fullback to equalize. That's big. Well done. I talk about, I just, I criticize my fullbacks, and then one comes in and gets me a goal. He must have heard me and gave me the middle finger probably right after he scored that. All right, so let's bring in Dunwell. And right now it'll be my only change. And take off that ease off tackles. Okay, so let's go get the winner. Thinking about going positive? I might save that after I bring in all my subs and push for the for the winner. They're building up something here. Just got a header on that. <laughs> Please don't give up another set piece goal. Let's change our midfielders. All right. Start trying to control the midfield a little bit. I don't want to push it, but you know what? Let's go positive. Let's let's try to get this done. Frank Jones dropped a little bit, so let's bring in Booth. Bring in some help at right wing. Antonio Moore is fully fit now, and he's probably my best player, so I'm going to leave him on a little longer. By the way, college soccer, we have overtime! Oh, we have overtime, extra time, and with a golden goal. So I do have to kind of keep that in mind also. Let me fill back here. Obviously, we want to win in regulation, but because we're more fit, I do like my chances in the extra time. for the goal scorer Bernera all right with it Brooks let's keep it going keep it going one more to the Campo shot is wide Ooh, 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 oh, bopped around there in the box, but didn't end up with anything. Not so much as a shot. Six minutes of added time. Let's make that a little more. Bring in a couple more subs. Maybe we can find that winner here in extra time. Or in stoppage. Okay. We are going to extra time. And in college soccer, if you've watched any of my videos, you know this by now. <laughs> uh, it's golden goal. So all I need is one goal to put this thing away. Um, so we got to keep playing the way we have been. Although the way we have been is sort of what got us into extra time. So... Uh, maybe play the way you have been, except score. 
Well, extra time, the system, it's really kind of fun because it makes it more intense. Like, this is an intense two, uh, 30 minute uh, football because, you know, any team can get lucky. I feel like their goal is a set piece goal, so kind of lucky there. Done well, heads it over. Ooh, Mayor heads it over. Yeah, I, this is. I'm always tempted to change things. I'm thinking about upping the pressing. My pressing um, intensity is a little higher. I'm thinking about maxing it out, but when you're when you're creating so a change like that would probably be a mistake. Free kick in the box. Wes heads it out. And they're going the other way. Can't see this. Maybe in the beginning of a goal highlight, but here we go. We've got to yeah, center it. Look around. Bring it back to the middle. There we go. Ramirez. Cross. Box. Booth shot blocked. Oh, and Booth gives it away. Go get this. All right, looks like we're going to go into the second period of extra time. Ooh, unless Del Campo scores here. No. Del Campo actually is pretty good at free kicks. All right, here we go. I don't, uh, I don't remember, but I don't believe there's penalties. I, I'm pretty sure that if if it ends still tied, then we draw. It goes down as a draw. You know, let's let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Extremely urgent. And now we're going the other way. Weiss. Oh, come on! Give me a foul on that. Yeah, here we go. Maybe this is the winner right here. Oh, Del Campo takes a sh hopeful shot. Done well to Del Campo. Here we go. Maybe if I do the demand more shout. I always forget about the shouts. I know they're effective though. Oh, Del Campo cross. It's a corner. I need to look at my corner setups. We've not been very good on corners. I think we have one goal. subbing. And I get a yellow card, of course. I am going to ease off his tackles, because it would be my luck that I get a red card that cost me the match in the last two minutes of goal to goal stoppage, or extra time. Miller across it in, done well. <laughs> Thought we were going to get a last gasp goal, but looks like we are going to have a draw here. <laughs> Not the most exciting result. I am going to post this one, though. <laughs> last boring match I had that I live conned, I threw out. But this one, we'll leave in. It was a rivalry match. Um, disappointing result. You know, we were the better team. Probably should have gotten all three out of this, but I still think it's going to get us the job done. Um, and tell them that they're happy. Would have been happier with a win, but you know, we beat these guys last year. You always want to beat your rival. Uh, we'll probably see them again in the Big Ten tournament. So we'll get another shot at them. But looking at the at the the table, we are one point ahead of Rutgers, but Rutgers is done. They're out, so Rutgers cannot overtake me. Michigan can if I don't show up against Indiana. Um, Michigan and I both have 11 goal differential, so that'll be, um, yeah. So, so the Indiana match now takes on some real significance. Probably won't live come again until the Big Ten tournament, so um, 
So yeah, this is Uncle Sam FM. Sorry that the match was a little dull, but maybe the next one will be more exciting. Um, but this is we will uh, we will see you next time. <laughs>